So if you see behind me, this one, the HP 6300 small form factor PC that I got working again, right? Resurrected from the dead. And this video here, check it out if you haven't seen it. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of upgrading to it. We're going to put in a new CPU, add a low profile small form factor GPU, and see if we can make it small form factor entry level gaming PC. Not only that, I'm gonna put Linux on here because the video card that I'm gonna be using is the Intel Arc 8380 by ASRock. And what's special about it is it gets all the power it needs from the PCI Express slot. It doesn't need any external power. So that may be something that some of you out there may be interested in. And normally you may, may be saying at this point, but Intel Arc, you need resizable bar. What are you doing? Well, I'll tell you one thing else. We're gonna drop in a, a new CPU and that CPU is gonna be an i7-3770. And the resizable bar for Intel Arc series is only supposedly supported on Intel generation 10 and above CPUs. Well, this doesn't support it. Yeah, I know, but we're gonna install Linux Mint on there and, and upgrade the kernel to 6.2 because supposedly they have native driver support for Intel Arc C GPUs and Linux should have native ability to use kind of its own resizable bar in that it can take advantage of the system RAM to add more to the video card when it needs it. That's what we're gonna do today. Upgrade this little PC, see if we can get it running a few games and benchmark it. See what kind of stats we get from it. So without further ado, let's breathe new life into this system, upgrade it, and let's get going. Come on, let's go. So it's in the uh, HP 6300 and the specs of this HP 6300 are as follows. 16 gig of DDR3 memory, an i7-3770 quad-core eight-thread CPU, 240 watt power supply, DVD ROM drive, and a one terabyte SK Hynix gold SSD. Now you, want, you may think to yourself, Oh, that's not going to support resizable bar. It's not because Windows 10 and Windows 11, you know, you just can't do it on that because that CPU you just listed isn't on their list. Or rather, Linux Mint kernel 6.0 and supports Intel Arc natively. And supposedly, it has that resizable bar or their version of it built into the system. So you don't need Windows or a current gen CPU to support it. So let's get going and try it. All right, our first boot up after Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon is installed. Let's give it a shot. Of course, we got to do some updates after we ensure that the 6.1 kernel's in place for the Linux and uh, drivers are updated and software packages. Let's see if we can do some Steam gaming and test out the Intel Arc A380. We got our update manager on Linux Mint here, first install. So here's the Mesa drivers for the Intel. Tons of stuff that need to be updated. So always, always, always update your system. Go from there before you test. Here is our NeoFetch system settings, uh, specifics. And we've got uh, 16 gig of memory, i7, 3770, 3.9 gigahertz. Um, anemic display resolution currently. We're gonna get some drivers installed, hopefully for the ARC graphics card. And uh, the kernel needs to be upgraded as well to support that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to upgrade to the newer kernel. Let's get to it. So you might wonder, you know, if your system's running a uh, new kernel or not, just type in update manager up here and uh, load update manager and go in here and go to the view menu and choose Linux kernels. Cur select continue. So this will tell you what you're running currently and if you're running an older kernel and want to have bleeding edge support for a newer kernel or if you want to go to a better kernel you can go up to here and install it. Your mileage may vary 
The newer kernel doesn't always mean better or more security. You may lose, in fact, older support for older systems, but you need to have at least a newer kernel so that you can get the Intel Arc support. So we're gonna do 6.5.0 TAC41 and install that if this case, if you don't have a newer uh, distro that you loaded your installation from. And that's where you find it in Linux Mint. So it's gonna download that kernel and install it. And then we can and update, do the updates again and make sure our system is running 100% and it sees the Intel Arc GPU. As you can see from the kernel update and the reboot of the system, the screen is now in uh, proper proportions at 4K. And that's because the Intel Arc driver, most likely it comes with the newer kernel has been updated. How do we tell that? You can go and check a few things. In the command prompt, you can type in uh, glx info and then a space and a pipe command and then another space and then grep and then device and then it'll come up with your uh, info here and you'll see it has the the intel arc a380 graphics so that way you know that you're running the correct drivers well you're running it picked it up and it showed it there it wouldn't show it there if you didn't pick it up and install the drivers the other thing you can do is install hard info which gives you info on your system and if you want to do that you go apt install hard info and put in your password and then just launch hard info once it's installed by typing hard info in the command prompt and you can see your info here as well we have the resolution of the video card is a380 the ram cpu linux mint storage audio all the good stuff hard info you can generate reports as well for your system and if you want to go down here you can also do benchmarks cpu and GPU basic stuff, you know? That's how you can test those things too. So it's not just a info thing for what's in your system, but you can do basic benchmarking too. For instance, I got 4915 on this system. It is not a new system by any means, but the GPU drying is a, well, that's what it is. Install Steam and get some video games working. And keep in mind, not all games work on Linux. They're based on Windows, but sometimes you can use Proton Experimental to get them to run. So we're gonna see which ones run. So in some of the games you'll have, um, you have to select the game, highlight it here, go over here, select the gear and then properties and then go over here and then compatibility now if this isn't checked you won't see it showing up so you'll need force us use the specific steam play compatibility tools and choose proton experimental at first and if one game won't work under here you can try the other proton versions to see if you can get it to work and you may have to do this for every game but try this first and experimental and try to launch it All right, so we got Borderlands 2 here. It's an older game, but I figure we start off with it. Uh, 1080p, unlimited frames per second set. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, 20-some usage, percent utilization GPU, uh, about 50, 51 FPS. It's not, Mango Hut is not showing my uh, GPU usage though. And I don't know why. Fifty FPS is okay for this game. Um, it's a little janky, a little stuttery, I think.
this is always some nice cute iridium so yeah 1080p not too bad right let's try another game Ten eighty P to start off, okay. Let's play. Fallout four. It's not it's not the newest game in the world, but uh I love this game, so we're gonna play it. We've got the new update in here. So let's see if we can continue the game and see what kind of FPS we get. Well, I'm trying to launch Cyberpunk, and it seemed like it was gonna run, but it's just kind of like frozen. And the GPU is getting really hot, really hot. But I don't think we're gonna get it to work. So as long as you play some of the games that aren't top of the line new, you should be fine. And keep in mind that not every newer game is going to be, or title is going to be able to run on Linux. So even with Proton Experimental, you have to play around and shift to Proton versions to get some games to work. And some games, you know, they'll need certain instruction sets for different CPUs that the older ones, like this one, may not have. And that'll be another thing that you have to look out for. But overall, I was pretty impressed with this little system and not having to purchase a 10th gen, 11th gen CPU that supports rebar. Linux operating system 6.2 kernel has built in support for resizing the memory and utilizing uh, memory support from the, from the system RAM. So I was pretty pleased with the system and the Intel Arc, it's not the top of the line card. It could be just the right thing for, for those of you out there that are looking for a small form factor video card that doesn't need separate power hookup, six pin, etc. So look for more of these videos coming up soon. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.